Have you ever wondered what vulnerable narcissism is and how it differs from covert narcissism? Narcissism, a term you've likely heard before, is a personality trait characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance, an unquenchable need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. However, like a coin with two sides, narcissism isn't a one-size-fits-all label. Today we're going to explore two specific types of narcissism that often go misunderstood, vulnerable narcissism and covert narcissism. While they share some commonalities, their differences are what make them truly intriguing. Vulnerable narcissists, for instance, are marked by their fragile self-esteem and hypersensitivity to rejection, while covert narcissists are known for their hidden grandiosity and entitlement. Each type presents unique challenges and behaviors that can affect relationships, self-perception, and overall well-being. In this video, we'll delve into the intriguing world of vulnerable narcissism and compare it to covert narcissism. Firstly, let's delve into the fragile self-esteem of vulnerable narcissists. This group of individuals often grapples with a profound sense of inadequacy, a chink in their armor that's hidden behind a veneer of confidence and superiority. Their self-esteem, as delicate as a house of cards, is easily shattered by criticism, or even the slightest hint of disapproval. They are like a mirror that reflects the world around them, but any negative reflection can send cracks rippling through their self-image. This makes them highly sensitive and reactive to perceived slights, turning a minor critique into a major crisis of self-worth. Their self-esteem isn't built on a solid foundation of self-belief or self-understanding but rather on a shaky scaffold of external validation, Every word, every gesture matters, as they are constantly on the lookout for affirmation, and any lack thereof can trigger feelings of inadequacy. Thus, the seemingly confident exterior of a vulnerable narcissist hides a fragile self-esteem. Next, we explore their hypersensitivity to rejection. Now imagine navigating life as though walking on a tightrope, where even the slightest breeze of criticism could send you spiraling. This is the reality for individuals with vulnerable narcissism. They are particularly sensitive to rejection and criticism, reacting strongly to any perceived threat to their self-worth. But why is this so? The answer lies in their fragile self-esteem, because they are often unsure of their own worth. Any form of criticism or rejection, no matter how minor, can feel like a direct attack on their identity. This can trigger intense emotional responses like anger or sadness and defensive behaviors to protect their self-image. So, while it may seem like they're overreacting, remember that their hypersensitivity is rooted in a deep-seated fear of not being good enough. This hypersensitivity often leads to intense reactions to even minor criticisms. Another aspect of vulnerable narcissism is the avoidance of self-exposure. This is not about avoiding the spotlight or shying away from attention. On the contrary, narcissists often crave attention. The avoidance we're referring to here is the fear of exposure in a different sense. It's about avoiding situations where the individual's shortcomings, insecurities or inadequacies might be revealed or judged. This fear of exposure is often so intense that it drives the individual to withdraw from social situations altogether. It's as if being seen as less than perfect is too much for their fragile self-esteem to bear. Consider a scenario where a person is asked to take on a new task at work. The idea of potentially not being able to perform perfectly can be so threatening to a vulnerable narcissist that they might avoid the task altogether. Their fear of being judged or exposed often leads them to avoid social situations. Now let's talk about their dependence on others' approval. For vulnerable narcissists, self-esteem is like a house of cards, precariously built on the shaky foundation of others' opinions and affirmation. It's not enough for them to believe in their own worth. They need constant reassurance from the people around them. Every compliment, every word of praise, serves as a crucial pillar holding up their fragile self-image. In essence, their self-esteem is outsourced. It's as though they've handed over the keys to their self-worth, allowing others to dictate how they feel about themselves. This external validation becomes their lifeblood, their daily bread. They seek it incessantly, almost obsessively, turning every interaction into a quest for reassurance and affirmation. But what happens when that validation is not forthcoming? Well, their self-esteem crumbles, just like that house of cards. This dependence on external approval makes them constantly seek validation. Having understood vulnerable narcissism, how does it compare to covert narcissism? Let's delve into this intriguing question. Vulnerable and covert narcissism, though similar in many ways, possess subtle differences that distinguish them from each other. 
Both types of narcissists exhibit a hypersensitivity to criticism and a strong need for validation. They are also characterized by feelings of inadequacy and tend to hide their vulnerabilities behind defensive behaviors. However, the ways in which these characteristics manifest differ between the two. While vulnerable narcissists may react with visible distress or withdrawal in response to criticism, covert narcissists are more likely to hide their reactions, often responding with subtle manipulation or passive aggression. The need for validation, another common trait, takes different forms in these two types of narcissism. Vulnerable narcissists often seek validation in a more overt manner, constantly seeking reassurance and affirmation from others to bolster their fragile self-esteem. Covert narcissists, on the other hand, tend to seek validation in a more discreet way, often through manipulative behaviors aimed at controlling the perceptions of others. When it comes to feelings of inadequacy, both types of narcissists struggle with this deep-seated issue. However, while vulnerable narcissists may openly display their feelings of inadequacy and seek sympathy, covert narcissists are more likely to hide these feelings, projecting an image of confidence and superiority instead. Covert narcissism also tends to involve a higher level of deceit and manipulation compared to vulnerable narcissism. Covert narcissists are often skilled at concealing their narcissistic tendencies and can be very effective at manipulating others without them realizing. This is a key difference from vulnerable narcissists who are typically more transparent about their emotional struggles. In conclusion, both vulnerable and covert narcissism involve hypersensitivity to criticism, a need for validation, and feelings of inadequacy. However, the manner in which these characteristics are expressed and managed varies, with covert narcissists often resorting to more subtle and manipulative strategies. While there are similarities, the subtle distinctions make each type unique in its own way. In conclusion, understanding narcissism, specifically vulnerable and covert narcissism, provides insight into these complex personality traits. Let's recap. Vulnerable narcissism is characterized by an underlying sense of inadequacy and fragility in self-esteem. This results in hypersensitivity to rejection and criticism, with individuals reacting strongly to any perceived threat to their self-worth. These individuals may also avoid situations where they fear exposure or potential judgment leading to social withdrawal. This, combined with a deep dependence on others' approval, means they constantly seek reassurance and affirmation to bolster their fragile self-image. Emotional instability is another hallmark of vulnerable narcissism. These individuals oscillate between feelings of inadequacy and moments of arrogance or entitlement. Deep feelings of shame and self-doubt often lurk beneath their defensive behaviors. When faced with perceived threats, vulnerable narcissists may resort to passive-aggressive behaviors as a way to express their frustration or discontent indirectly. They may also engage in self-pity and victimization, portraying themselves as misunderstood or mistreated, and actively seek sympathy and support from others, using their vulnerabilities to elicit caregiving responses. Comparatively, covert narcissism shares some of these traits, but with key differences. While both types of narcissists may appear shy or reserved, covert narcissists tend to be more manipulative and cunning, using their introverted demeanor to mask their self-centered motives. Vulnerable narcissists, on the other hand, genuinely struggle with feelings of inadequacy and dependence on others for validation. In essence, while both vulnerable and covert narcissists may present a quiet or understated exterior, their internal experiences and motivations can differ greatly. Understanding these nuances is crucial when interacting with individuals who display these traits. Remember, awareness about these traits can help in dealing with individuals who display them and promote healthier interactions. Thanks for watching.